after I smuggle the stones across the border. Local buyers get them to a middleman in Monrovia. Come on. He pays off customs and then certifies the diamonds were mined in Liberia. That way they can be legally exported. Now, once they've reached the buyers in Antwerp, the diamonds are brought to the sorting tables. No more questions are asked. By the time they get to India, the dirty stones are mixed with the clean stones from all over the world. And then they become like any other diamonds. And Van de Kapp knows about all this. Yeah. When I get to London, I meet with Simmons. Supply and demand. You control the supply and you keep the demand high. Agreed. Good. Now, there's an underground vault where they put all the stones they buy up to keep off the market so they can keep the price high. The rebels want to flood the market with a billion dollars worth of rough. A company like Vondikop, who says that they're rare, they can't afford to let that happen. Especially when they're telling some poor sod he's supposed to shell out three months' salary for an engagement ring. Now, technically speaking, they're not, they're not financing the war, but they're creating a situation where it pays to keep it going. You understand? Yes. And where's my proof? Names, dates, and numbered accounts. Hmm? 